Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing a highly requested video with you all. A lot of you guys have always dropped comments in the comment section asking me how I usually wrap headbands. And I told you guys in one of my previous videos that I got a feedback from one of my clients and she told me that she felt like I could do better with the way my headbands were wrapped. And ever since I got that feedback, I was like, working so hard to improve on the wrapping of my headband and i feel like i've gotten a hang of it and i'm just here to share with you guys as well as any one of you that are you know business owners and you make headbands for customers this is how i wrap my headbands and so far all the clients i've worked with have no complaint about the finished look of my designs anyway in today's video i'm not going to be doing a lot of talking it will be more of a practical one so i advise that you pay close attention to everything i'm doing if you have questions for me please feel free to drop it in the comment section and yeah guys please don't forget to subscribe share my videos and all of that with your friends okay guys let's get straight into today's video let's go Alright guys, so you need your plastic headband of course. For this tutorial, I'm working with a small headband, but if you are also working with a big headband, this same process applies. First of all, you need two little pieces of fabric that are about two inches by one inch, just a tiny piece of fabric. And what these two pieces of fabric will do is, they'll first of all cover the tips of your headband, so the extreme ends, just like where I'm applying glue to right now. That's where you're going to put those um two little pieces of fabric okay same thing applies when you're working with ashoke okay as well because i know somebody might ask do i do the same thing with ashoke okay? yes you do and remember with ashoke okay, you are dividing the fabric with soldering iron so yeah what i'm doing here is just applying that little piece of fabric onto the tips of my head i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other end apply a little piece of fabric onto the tip right there what i'm doing here is just burning off the flyaways with this my lighter here same thing with ashoke okay as well if you have any flyaway just use your lighter to just carefully burn off any flyaway anyway what i'm doing here is just applying the second little piece of fabric onto the tip of my headband using my hot glue because i know as well that somebody might come and ask what's the name of this glue this particular glue i'm working with is called um hot glue feel free to use fabric glue if that's what you have that also does the job All right, guys so once that was done the next thing i'm going to be working with is this my piped fabric so if you watched my last video please go and watch it this is the fabric that i piped the um smaller version of the fabric this fabric is, was about two and a half inch by i think um i'm not quite sure please go and see that video to know the exact measurement but the length of this fabric is 30 inches okay same thing with ashoke as well if you're working with ashoke you want a 30 inch fabric and you are going to be wrapping it from one end so just keep wrapping all the way up to the end of the 30 inch by the time we get to that end something else will happen so i suggest you guys don't skip this video because i won't be happy if someone is asking me a question that i already answered in the in the video so please try and watch the video to the end so you don't miss any important info so what i'm doing here is i'm wrapping all the way through right the entire 30 inch fabric i'm going to wrap and then when i get to the end there will be something else that I'll do to just make things, you know, end seamlessly. Okay, guys, so while I'm wrapping and just doing my thing, make sure you're watching, but also please listen to me. This is a short break in transmission. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Fumi B, and I make videos like this from time to time where I just teach. I love teaching and I love passing on knowledge to people. So if this type of content sounds like something you'll be interested in, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm currently on my way to 7,000 subscribers, and I really hope that I hit 7K by the end of this month or at least by the beginning of april so please if you're not subscribed please do well to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and vlogs and all the other things that i get up to on here on youtube also if you're a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing please don't forget to hit the like button if you found value which i'm sure you would because you know you probably asked me for this video you you placed a lot of comments in the comment section so please like the video so i know you enjoyed watching so now that i'm at the end of the of the 30 inch fabric because i want things to end seamlessly i'm just going to mark 
where my fabric is going to stop and then whatever excess i have i'm going to cut it off so the excess is the part of the fabric that cannot you know wrap and cover up the and cover up the headband properly so whenever i get to that kind of spot i'm just going to cut off whatever excess is there so that i can just glue that end and it will just lap over seamlessly i hope what i'm saying makes sense if it doesn't make sense please try and you know carry out the practical of this thing get your fabric get your headband and follow along with me in this tutorial so yeah now that i've cut off the excess i'm just going to apply a little bit of glue and then just allow that part lap over and let it end on the inner part of your headband so this part that sits on your head that people don't see exactly that's where you want your wrapping to end such that the outer look looks seamless it looks beautiful but the inner part is where all the work is but even for that inner part there's a way to make it look nice at the end of the day when i'm saying let your work end at the inner part it doesn't mean the inner part should also look unkept anyway let me not get ahead of myself just keep watching so now that i'm done with that part i'm going to now start wrapping the second 30 inch by two and a half inch piece of fabric that i'm working with from the other end so i'm wrapping towards that part that i just ended so that everything will meet each other at a particular point so just watch as i did remember you can see that i'm starting my wrapping from the inner part of the plastic headband not from the outer part okay if you start from the outer part it's not going to give right but if you want everything to look sweet just the way my headbands always look if i do say so myself you want to start your wrapping from the inner part and then start to work your way upward so just watch as i go Also guys, you want to make sure that as you're wrapping your headband, you are making sure that it's very firm. You don't want to wrap loosely because it's it's not going to lap properly, right? Make sure that you're wrapping in such a way that everything is firm. You don't want it to be too tight as well. You want to use, you see the way I'm placing my thumb to just feel for firmness. So exactly, you want to place your thumb that way and make sure that what you're wrapping is very firm and the outer part of the headband looks very, very neat. So now that I've gotten to the next point where the previous work I did and this one meets, I'm going to just carry my chalk and then mark where that meeting point is and then trim off whatever excess I have. If you're working with a bigger headband, chances are you're not going to have any excess. Everything is supposed to lap adequately. But if, you, if you're working with the headband, I suggest that you do, instead of this 30 inches long fabric, I suggest you do 35 inches such that you don't have any issues when wrapping your headband but for a small headband two pieces of 30 inches by 25 inches fabric that are piped will do the job for you and so yeah this is me just using i'm also using my soldering iron for this particular fabric to cut off the excess and for satin i don't know if you can use soldering iron i've never tried soldering iron on on satin with satin just use your scissors and then use your lighter to burn off the flyaways i'm going to try using soldering iron and satin and give feedback but yeah pending that time let's just take to using scissors on satin but for this mikado and ashoki feel free to use your um what they call it now your soldering iron so now that i've gotten to the end and my fabric have you know met each other and everything is looking sweet on the outer part what i typically do is i use a piece of ribbon to just cover up that meeting point in the inner part of my headband i didn't show that in the video sorry about that but yeah what i do is i just use a ribbon to cover up that part also if you have a business tag you can use your business tag to just cover that part in the inner part of the headband that you have finished wrapping so your clients is a way of advertising your brand right and your clients don't get to see the you know rough edges of your work so yeah that's pretty much it for how i wrap headbands if you had a great time watching this tutorial please don't forget to hit the like button so i know you got value i'm sure you got value so please hit the like button also if you're not subscribed this is another call to action please do well to subscribe to my channel i'm going to be doing a lot of business related topics so if you have questions for me about the business of making headbands please drop it in the comment section and yeah guys thank you so much again for watching and i can't wait to see you in another tutorial have a good rest of the week bye